Game four between the Heat and Bobcats in response to the remarks purportedly made by Clippers owner Donald Sterling. The Heat showed solidarity with the Clippers doing what the Clippers did Sunday, throwing their warm-ups down at center court and wore their practice jerseys inside out. Heat going for the sweep versus the Bobcats without Al Jefferson, their leading scorer and rebounder, but Kemba Walker stepping up early. Yeah, look, he's had a great year, and he's a very explosive scorer. Look at this, the creativity on this play. I've personally never seen a guy throw it off the backboard from that far out on the court to himself. Shot clock winding down, gets to the other side of the rim and a great finish. Crazy. Walker, 29 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds. Third quarter, scary moment here for the Heat. LeBron, he goes down hard after contact with Bismarck Biombo. LeBron in obvious pain. Yeah, scary too because he's reaching for, you don't know if it's a thigh, the knee, then you see the replay, you see that's a knee directly to his thigh. It's a thigh contusion. It's going to feel worse tomorrow, but this is exactly why you want to get these series over with because you don't know on any given play what kind of fluky injury could take place. And he would stay in the game. He actually heard cheers when he went down and it maybe fired him up because uh, it looked okay there. It finished strong. Actually, that's the type of injury that once you go out of the game, it's when it really tightens up. So by staying in the game, it was able to stay loose enough where he could take matters into his own hands to try to close it out. Limping a bit there, but uh, still stayed hot. He scored 19 of his game high 31 after getting hurt. Ron with his 64 30 point playoff game in the fourth quarter. Ball poked away from LeBron, but he gathers it and hits the fadeaway jumper. Heat win 109-98 to sweep the series. Michael Jordan embracing LeBron after the game. I don't think he, you know, is hating too much on that look he gave in that other game. You think he looked at him? Well, I think Michael <laughs> knows that, look, you know, give the Heat their props. He mm -hmm. understands. Not much you can say when you got swept. And the loss signaled the end of an era for the Bobcats as they will become the Hornets next season. Bobcats finish 0-8 all-time in playoff games. Miami, they become the first team to advance to the semifinals, and LeBron still hurting after the game. Relieved they got it done in four. My thigh is, is definitely sore, so uh, I'm fortunate enough that we was able to close out tonight and we get a little rest. So, um, you know, I think as far as me physically, I feel pretty good. Um, got some couple bruises, nicks and bruises, but who doesn't at this point in the season? And, um, you know, I'm going to continue to do my treatment throughout this week and get ready for uh, whenever we um, suit back up. So the Heat easily take care of the Bobcats Monday, and they had a point differential of 9.3 points per game, which is by far the best this postseason. Their offense was clicking at a very efficient level and could be a scary sign again for the rest of the NBA. So, Legs, when you look at this, this series, what did you learn about the Heat? Well, this is a team that's been to three straight finals. They know how to close series out and take care of business when you have to. They're the only team that really, when you look at the top seeds in both conferences, that did what they had to do, get through this first series the way you're supposed to against an inferior opponent. That's what they did, and now they move on to the second round, and they might get up to a week of rest now, depending on, on how long that, that next series goes. Yeah, they're waiting on the winner of uh, Brooklyn, Toronto, which is tied at two games apiece, so they will play two more games minimum.